This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. Direct-to-consumer wine sales are on the rise, surprising industry analysts. According to Wine Vine Analytics, the industry saw a 15% rise in sales to $360 million in the United States so far this year. Cab Saw saw the biggest jump with $1.1 billion in bottles shipped. Next on the list, Wine Blends with $644 million in sales, and Pinot Noir comes in third with $640 million in sales. Analysts fear the COVID restrictions restrictions that were dropped over the summer would slow DTC numbers, but the Delta resurgence may have kept drinkers home. France is making a big comeback in wine sales to the United States. Wine exports jumped 28% from this same period last year since tariff restrictions were suspended. Early in the year, wines from Provence led the way, but a second quarter surge from Bordeaux winemakers knocked it out of the top spot. The biggest sales jump, though, were champagne exports. The sparklers saw an 80% increase over last year. And NBA champion Dwayne Wade is the newest face of the leadership board at the University of California, Davis. Campus leaders announced Wade will be part of a team that is focused on leading diversity and inclusion efforts at the school and in the industry. Alongside him will be Black Wine Professionals founder Julia Coney. And finally, the Wine News Weekly Wine of the Week, presented by Coco Vino Los Angeles. It's the 2015 Yam Hell duet Pinot Noir by Quintet. Two clones and two vineyards combined here with 18 months in French oak. It's a tasty mix of fruit, spice, and barrel with pomegranate and red plum flavors at the core. Learn more about this Oregonian Pinot at CocoVinoLA.com. And that's it for this episode of Wine News Weekly. If you're watching on YouTube, please visit our sponsors in the description section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.